Hey everybody and welcome to Anime for Life. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, Project Melody again. It seems she's continuing to grow in popularity and she is now over 50,000 subscribers in her uh, YouTube channel. I checked it out uh, yesterday I believe. And I will likely be doing a video on that in the near future. You guys seem to uh, enjoy my videos regarding her. And so I think I will continue to do that. Um, until you guys seem to want to uh, see something else. Though I will be doing other stuff as well. But today I figured I will cover something a little different. Um... It seems that because of her continuing popularity and growth in this line of work that she's chosen, that she hasn't just pissed off the um, other cam girls, but she's now pissed off social media as well. And you can see that in this site called Wired. And as you can see in the headline here, it says, Do fans of cartoon porn stars hate real women? Uh, so yeah, you can already see where this is going. Uh, it says, The fan base of Project Melody, an uh, anime cam girl, and the next step of digital sexuality may overlap with the more misogynistic corners of the internet. So right off the bat, a jab to all males. So doesn't even try to hide, hide the agenda. And so, right here it starts with, Project Melody doesn't do much uh, but sway, but every swish of her cartoon hips is met with uh, the horny digital howl when she takes off her barely there top, revealing what she calls her big ol' enemy titties. Her fans shower her with hearts and wide-eyed emoji. Well, might I point out that she's a cam girl... You know, that's kind of their thing. That's kind of what they do. Not really surprising. But anyway, it continues on. Uh, when she uploads a 13-minute lecture about whether hentai, a sexually explicit uh, anime genre, is art or porn, it gets more than 200,000 views. Sounds like someone's a little salty. When one eye freezes... Uh, half closed with uh, like a broken doll's followers take screenshots and fawn over them broken face is the best f uh, face one comments uh, to fans the occasional glitches seem to be something like digital uh, dimples well that's probably because again we know it's just a you know a 3d model done through um, uh, motion capture Right, we know it's going to be not perfect. We know, in the big scheme of things, Project Melody herself is not real. We know that, and we know there's going to be complications now and then. And so when it does happen, we kind of think it's a little bit funny and a little bit cute. It doesn't bother us none. Right? Who cares? Who are you to judge when already you already seem pretty pissed off that... She's getting far more likes, far more views, and she's not really having to try hard, whereas you are. That's all this sounds like, is you're just pissed that she doesn't have to try hard, and you do. Um, it then goes on to say, Melody claims to be the first hentai cam girl. They're, her creators are loath to admit, uh, admit it. Um, doesn't really seem that way. I've never seen anyone pissed off that they're having to... Um, admit that she's uh, uh, just a 3D cam girl. Um, and then it goes on just more on that and goes a little more down and says, the sloganeering is endless. The future is now. Reject tradition. Embrace modern any. Um, most uh, succinctly, I believe is how it's pronounced. Bots, not thoughts. Uh, thought is a crude slang for promiscuous women, an acronym for uh, that hoe over there. They foresee an internet swarming with melodies. They're probably wrong. That m They may be right. Either way, being virtual is becoming an asset. 
again, more, more salt. Um, if you ask Melody, and I was giving no other option, despite requests to speak to an actual human, it all started with an infection. I... God, the salt is real. It just gets more and more as you go down. And Melody's reply to that was, Last year, I was just a basic AI that scanned emails for malware. I accidentally opened up an email with an adult virus that infected my code. So, you know, cute reply in, in her typical um, um, role play, I guess, if you want to call it that. Uh, Melody wrote to me in an email. Ever since then, I've been more and more obsessed with you know, human sexuality. Camming apparently just seemed like fun. World building aside, uh, Digit Trevex, or someone capable of typing, seems to have been begun de developing the Project Melody brand last year on Twitter, where Melody first acted as a broken piece of software and then as an AI graduate, uh, gradually acquiring sentience and interest in having a real body. Um, excuse, uh, how do you make a person when not a person? One early tweet reads, uh, by the time Melody started streaming on Chatterbait, uh, Digitrix had imbued the character with a better command of English and an unquenchable sex obsession. They like, they just can't seem to handle this. And it just goes on and on and on and on about this. Um. And then it says, on top of the interest, uh, their intrinsic appeal, there's the rise of VTubers, cartoon virtual YouTubers, and other virtual influencers. Natsune Miku, Kazuno Ai, are huge in inspirations. Melody's Minder, as Melody tells me, Kazuna, Kazuna started the entire VTuber genre a few years ago, so I wouldn't be here without her coming first. Natsune Miku is a piece of voice processing software that has become a sort of virtual pop star, an object of admiration for many. A Japanese man married a hologram of Hatsune Miku in 2018. Um, these characters have been most success, uh, or seen the most success and attention in Japan and in communities of strong interest in Japanese culture, uh, like 4chan. But animal anime style characters aren't the only virtual celebrities. Uh, virtual Instagram star Leo Mikila, whose appearance is realistically human, has come close to mainstream Western success. And so it just um, goes on to, to talk more about that. And they basically just blame all their um, problems and their lack of success now on Project Melody because of her just really being a virtual idol and her her um basically her takeover and i really don't see what's so bad about it um and like they go here uh, the reason for her sex uh, success is likely because uh, digisexuals are hoping for a glimpse of the future um i get over it but yeah, if you want to see more of this, it, you can find it on Wired, and it, all it does is just completely bash um, Project Melody, and it's really just nothing but a complete salt fest. It's got more salt in the, this freaking uh, um, article that's completely one-sided and just nothing but a big smear campaign. And you can just tell, like, as, as you saw in the title, it's completely um, against real anyone that loves her or is frickin' male. But, yeah, it seems like she's going, her popularity is not just pissing off regular cam girls, but is now pissing off the social media uh, sites. And I think it's hilarious. Because they feel threatened that they're becoming irrelevant and they're just looking for anything that they can make a hit piece on. And because she's the latest and greatest of the last couple of weeks, they figure, oh, hey, why not bash her? Find some way to m make her look bad. But I figured I would say uh, something about that and... 
if you want um, if you want a good laugh at reading a completely stupid article and just seeing how pissy these people have gotten because she's gotten so popular in such a short amount of time where some of these people have had to put years of work which I guess it's it sort of sucks when you have to put so much effort and then you don't get super popular and then somebody comes along especially when it's a digital uh, celebrity at this point comes along and gets way more famous than you do I can you know sort of see the frustration but you know to basically hate on them and want to ruin their entire career because of it you know suck it up grow up but yeah if you want to read this I will stick it in the um, um, link below and you can have a chuckle at it because it's just absolutely stupid but yeah I'll, I'll just leave it there for now and I'll likely be doing more project melodies things because you seem to enjoy them but uh, until then keep enjoying anime and anime for life <laughs>